Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you the Galaxy Note 3, my magazine. Now, how you get to my magazine is a couple of different ways. Uh, the way I get to it is by swiping up from the top of your main homepage. And if you do that, you come up with the Note 3's My Magazine feature. Now, My Magazine is powered by Flipboard. Uh, Flipboard has made this for Samsung. Uh, it's different from their own app, so you can actually still get the Flipboard app separately. But the idea is that you get a quick way of viewing things, not only from your news, but also from different personal stuff and RSS feeds. Now, so far, we only have these three, so news, personal, on social. You can, of course, filter what you uh, look, so I look at news, technology, topics, sports, business, games, and movies, because that's what I'm interested in. But obviously, you see there's other topics you can pick. And for personal, you can see what is highlighted, so I don't want, obviously, my emails and messages going through, and even chat on, I'll take that off. Um, so the rest you can see have go through and then again for your social these are the ones you can currently do notice one big one is missing and that is Facebook I'm not sure if that will come with an update but at least at this time it does not have one so I mainly use Google Plus and uh, YouTube for mine and uh, how it works is very similar to Flipboard you swipe up and you see that uh, animation it's a little bit different um, and then when you hit an icon as you can see the the top is classic flipboard starring uh, leaving comment on it adding posting sharing all of that right at the top and of course when you actually go through the article it is flipboard so it looks like uh, flipboard kind of changed the front of it but then at the same time the actual um, articles are identical to flipboard now when you swipe over you have your personal side, so video I've taken recently, my S Health today, yay. Um, S Planner, uh, it was apparently Best Buy Westfield's birthday today. Happy birthday, Best Buy Westfield. And uh, gallery, photo I've taken recently. Song I've played recently, a note that I've written recently, scrapbook, and a story album. If you swipe over one more time, you have the social side, so this is my Google Plus. Again, Google Plus, and I see like a YouTube one there, and the rest are Google Plus. So you can kind of see how they load. Um, one other thing too, when you have a video on YouTube, when you tap it, it'll actually play the video within the app, so you don't have to go somewhere else to play it. Um, it'll load the video right on there, and uh, play as such, if it would load. So um, that is how you operate this section. Now, there is one other part of it, and that is right here. At the top right, you can access your apps quickly. So say if you wanted to go right to your app door from here, you can just hit there, and then actually hit it, and then you'll go to your app drawer. Again, the idea is just kind of like a quick access to wherever you need to go to. So if you want to take a photo right there, this is the photo, and you'll go right to it. So um, the whole idea is just to quickly get you to somewhere from uh, the My Magazine app. I would say it's a little bit less annoying than uh, BlinkFeed, but then again, BlinkFeed had some of these and not some of these, and it's in three separate areas, which I do like better. I like that news, personal, and social are separate. Um, I would usually be on the social side more so than anything, because how I get my news is through Google+. Plus. Um, for the most part instead of Twitter. Um, it really depends on you. I personally still like the Flipboard app a little bit more, I would say, in comparison. And that's how you can see you can get right into the Note app. Um, but it's up to you. If you want, this is a decent alternative and it's made by Flipboard. Uh, another thing that you can do is on the menu button for the settings, this is where you can change uh, where you receive news from, and also, if you want, you can highlight this. My Magazine by pressing the Home key when you're on the home screen. 
So the other way you can launch it is when you're on the home screen, you can hit this and it'll automatically launch the My Magazine app. I didn't like that as much simply because it seems to lag my home button a bit. So that's why I took it off and I can just swipe up from the bottom on the main screen, which has a cooler effect anyway. All right, guys, that has been the My Magazine app for the Galaxy Note 3. If you have any questions on it, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.